All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Um, today we are gonna be looking at tints of color. Um, regardless of what family of color you're working with, we are gonna be starting out with tints. Tints is a lighter version of the original color. So if you have red, you might de be dealing with more of the pinks, as you can see here. When, and just the lighter version because when you're dealing with tints, you can also see many, many back here. The original color is way at the bottom and then it gets lighter. Um, tint is taking white and mixing it with your color. When you're dealing with tints, you use a lot of white and just a small dot of your main color, whatever your family is that you're working with. And out, the outer ring here is showing the actual result, the end result that you'll be getting. So if you wanna get a gray, this is how you make gray. If you want pink, this is how you make pink. If you wanna make like a teal color, it is blue and uh, green together. So this is just a little helpful of my little fake tray on how to make tints. So it's a lot of white plus your color. And every grade level is focusing on a different family but like I said, we are gonna be using a large variety of colors, because if you are just dealing with uh, complementary colors, like fifth grade, you can see in the background here, uh, fifth grade is only dealing with two colors, like yellow and purple there. That's not a lot to paint with. So we're gonna be choosing, for fifth grade, they're gonna be able to choose tints and shades, but today we're just gonna be focusing on tints. So to set up your tray, and this is for all students, you're gonna be using uh, a lot of white and most grade levels are just gonna be picking um, sorry they're just gonna be choosing one color to work with today out of your family you will just be focusing on one so like fifth grade are doing complementary colors like orange and blue are complementary colors they are probably only going to be focusing on one today because of time. Now, if they have time, they can do two. So as of right now, I'm only filling up one well of my tray. I'm going to swish and wipe. I always wipe it off because there's always paint up here on the paintbrush. So today I'm just going to focus on blue. And this is just to get the practice and to see the variations, the changes in the color. When you first start, you have a lot of white. I'm trying to get it in the view here. You have a lot of white, and you are just going to be t picking up a tiny bit of your color, especially if it's a dark color like blue. And I'm going to go ahead and mix it. And you're barely going to see a change. People out there on the screen, you guys will not see it at all. On my, ch on my uh, tray here, I do see a slight change. You want this progression to go really slow. So I'm just going to go ahead and then wipe a little bit extra off, and I'm just gonna put a little swatch of color. You probably can't even see how wet it is. Um, here's an old one that I had. So you can slowly see, and here's even a green here, you may not even be able to see that. And it just gets a little bit darker each time. So you're actually starting on this, on the value scale here, you're starting at the top. We want it icy, an icy color, in this case, blue. So it's gonna be super light and it's gonna gradually get darker. That is what's gonna be happening today. So I'm gonna swish. I'm gonna be getting a little bit more blue. Again, just a little dab. Wiping a little bit extra off and try to scoop all that in into the tray. Push that white back in there, mix it up. You still may not be able to see the change from your view there on the carpet you might be able to see it and like i said we want this to go slow because you want to be able to have lots of color options especially fifth grade they are literally only getting two colors so they should want it to go slow so they can see how many options they do have i'm going to add a little bit more and swish it and you just keep going till you get a little bit darker each time and that's today's practice and then once we have this under our belt 
you'll be able to use all these colors in your final painting project. And all right, and I'll stop there. Enjoy today.